The Wellcome Trust is a biomedical research charity based in London, United Kingdom. It was established in 1936 with legacies from the pharmaceutical magnate Sir Henry Wellcome to fund research to improve human and animal health. The aim of the Trust is to achieve extraordinary improvements in health by supporting the brightest minds, and in addition to funding biomedical research it supports the public understanding of science. It has an endowment of £25.9 billion 2018, making it the third wealthiest charitable foundation in the world, after the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the INGKA Foundation. The Trust has been described by the Financial Times as the United Kingdom's largest provider of non governmental funding for scientific research and one of the largest providers in the world. History The Trust was established to administer the fortune of the American-born pharmaceutical magnate Sir Henry Wellcome. Its income was derived from what was originally called Burroughs Wellcome, later renamed in the UK as the Wellcome Foundation Limited. In 1986, the Trust sold 25% of Wellcome PLC stock to the public. Overseen by incoming Director of Finance Ian McGregor, this marked the beginning of a period of financial growth that saw the Trust's value increase by almost £14 billion in 14 years, as their interests moved beyond the bounds of the pharmaceutical industry. In 1995, the Trust divested itself of any interest in pharmaceuticals by selling all remaining stock to Glaxo plc, the company's historic British rival, creating Glaxo. Wellcome PLC. In 2000, the Wellcome name disappeared from the drug business altogether when GlaxoWellcome merged with SmithKline Beecham to form GlaxoSmithKline PLC. Topic: <laughs> Activities. Topic: Biomedical research. Topic: Major investments. The trust funds or co-funds a number of major biomedical research initiatives. Avon Longitudinal Study of Parents and Children a cohort study of children born in England during 1991 and 1992. The Cancer Genome Project at the Wellcome Trust Sanger Institute. The Diamond Light Source, the UK's National Synchrotron Science Facility in Oxfordshire. Developing Excellence in Leadership, Training and Science Initiative, DELTAS, a collaboration with the Department for International Development to establish cutting-edge research and training programs across the African continent. The Ebola Emergency Initiative, a fast-tracked research program with the goal of identifying clinical and public health interventions to counter the West African Ebola epidemic. The Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, Wellcome Trust Diabetes and Inflammation Laboratory facilitates research into the genetic component of type 1 diabetes and is based in the Cambridge Institute for Medical Research. The Seeding Drug Discovery Initiative the Structural Genomics Consortium, an international organization focusing on three-dimensional structures of proteins of medical relevance with an emphasis on open data. The Wellcome Trust Sanger Institute, a non-profit, British Genomics and Genetics Research Institute. 
UK Biobank and the UK Biobank Ethics and Governance Council. Topic: Major overseas programs. The KEMRI Wellcome Trust Research Program, established in 1989 in partnership with the Kenya Medical Research Institute. The Malawi Liverpool Wellcome Trust Clinical Research Program, established in 1995. The Africa Centre for Health and Population Studies in South Africa, established in 1998 in partnership with the South African Medical Research Council. The Wellcome Trust Mahadal University Oxford Tropical Medicine Research Program in partnership with the Faculty of Tropical Medicine, Mahadal University, researching in Thailand and Laos and established in 1979. The Vietnam Research Program and Oxford University Clinical Research Unit in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi. Topic. Seeding Drug Discovery Initiative Also known as SDDI, this five-year initiative started in October 2005 with the remit, "...to facilitate the development of drug-like small molecules that address unmet medical needs." SDDI was based in London and managed by Richard Davis. Through early 2010, SDDI had provided more than £80 million across 30 projects split between academic institutions and companies. To early 2010, all but one of the company recipients were either start ups or spin outs. In May 2010, an additional £110 million was added to the SDDI fund with the intent to extend the initiative for an additional five years. <laughs> Support for open access and open data The Wellcome Trust plays an important role in encouraging publication of research in open access repositories such as Europe PubMed Central Europe PMC. The Wellcome Trust believes that maximizing the distribution of these papers, by providing free, online access, is the most effective way of ensuring that the research can be accessed, read and built upon. In turn, this will foster a richer research culture. In 2016, the Wellcome Trust partnered with the U.S. National Institutes of Health (NIH) and the Howard Hughes Medical Institute to launch the Open Science Prize to help develop services, tools, and platforms that enable open content to be discovered, assessed and reused in ways that will advance discovery and spark innovation." In 2016, Wellcome Trust announced that it would be launching Wellcome Open Research, an open access publication system running on the F1000 research platform. Article processing charges will be covered directly by Wellcome Trust. Paper from the system are now indexed in PubMed Central. Membership in the Global Health Innovative Technology Fund In the summer of 2015, the Wellcome Trust joined the Japanese government, seven Japanese pharmaceutical and diagnostics companies, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and the United Nations Development Programme as funding partner of the Global Health Innovative Technology Fund GHIT, which funds scientific research and development for anti-infectives and diagnostics for diseases that primarily primarily affect the developing world. 
Topic public engagement and the Welcome Collection In June 2007, the Welcome Building reopened after refurbishment as a public venue, housing the Welcome Collection, the Welcome Trust Centre for the History of Medicine at University College London and the Welcome Library. The aim of the Welcome Collection is to enhance public understanding of medical science and history. The building contains gallery spaces, conference facilities, space for debates, drama and workshops, a café and a bookshop. The galleries show a small sample of works from Sir Henry Wellcome's collection, and host a program of events and exhibitions. The Welcome Collection and Exhibitions are open to the public free of charge six days a week. The Welcome Collection and Welcome Library are members of the London Museums of Health and Medicine. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Book Prize. The Wellcome Trust sponsors an annual book prize, the Wellcome Book Prize, which aims to excite public interest and encourage debate around medicine and health. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Investments. Topic: <laughs> Purchase of the Cooperative Farms business In August 2014, the Wellcome Trust bought the Cooperative Group's farm business renamed Farmcare for £249 million. This comprised 15,997 hectares, 39,533 acres of freehold and third-party owned land, 15 farms including 3 pack houses, over 100 residential properties and 27 commercial properties. Topic: <laughs> Headquarters The Wellcome Trust's operations are run from two buildings on Euston Road in London. The Wellcome Building, at 183 Euston Road, built in 1932 in Portland Stone houses the Wellcome Collection and the adjoining Glass and Steel Building at 215 Euston Road is the Gibbs Building, by Hopkins Architects, which opened in 2004 as the administrative headquarters of the Wellcome Trust. Topic. See also Heads of international research organizations List of wealthiest charitable foundations